Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Sarah and I'm going to be reviewing today the AOA A Plus Charity Bamboo Brush Set from Shop Miss A. And on the website it says that each product from the A Plus line goes towards children's education to buy books and supplies. So that's pretty cool. You get 10 brushes for $10.88. I'm going to go over first what you get. First is the F26 Dome Top buffer brush. The second one is the F27 the flat top. Then we have the F28 large face brush, F29 flat foundation brush, F30 precise highlighter brush, E140 angled blending brush, E141 blending crease brush, E142 pencil brush, E144 angled brow brush, and the E143 flat eye brush. So I'm going to be testing these out today to see how they are. Off the bat, they are pretty soft. So we are going to go ahead and start. It does come with the flat foundation brush. I've never really been a fan of these. They just leave streak marks, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to try it out. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I use the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer, and my foundation is going to be the CYO Life Proof Foundation. So I'm going to do one part with the flat, the other one with the flat top. The flat top buffer brush, it's kind of flimsy. It's not going to be as dense as some other ones that are obviously more expensive that you're going to get. It provides definitely decent coverage. I know I, I get better coverage with some other ones. Blends out pretty nice. I don't see any streaking or any issues. I'm going to go in and try the flat traditional foundation brush yeah it just it doesn't really blend it in it kind of just smears it around I still have a lot of redness and scarring coming through I typically just if I have these brushes I will use them for masks they work well to apply masks I'd probably just use that for this now it didn't come with a concealer brush, so I'm just going to use my typical... Oh, and I use the Morphe M173. Okay, I think I'm going to use the F26 um, dome brush for powder. I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun powder to set my face. It's really soft. I actually really like this brush. It feels very soft. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Okay, I really like that one. I will definitely be putting that in my routine. I'm gonna be using the large face brush for my blush. I don't really, I think it's too big to use for bronzer, so I'm just gonna use my normal bronzer brush. For blush, I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty Flush Brush in Pink Prosecco. brush isn't bad it's kind of standard it is soft so it's something I might use in the future next I'm going to use the angled eyebrow brush to see I'm gonna be using a powder see how it applies I really like my eyebrow brushes to be pretty thin so you can get a clean line Okay, so it's not bad. It's a little fluffier and flimsy than I prefer. I typically use the Morphe M165, which has a bit of like a stiffer brush, so it just kind of gets lines a lot cleaner, but it's not bad. I'm going to clean up my brows and then move on to eyeshadow. Finished up my brows. I primed my eyes with the NYX Proof It Waterproof 
eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35V palette. I'm going to start off with this shade. To do all over lid, I'm going to be using the fluffy brush. I've noticed already that it is shedding. It's the only one I've noticed that's shedding, but quite a few have come out already. I'm going to be using this shade for all over the lid. losing some more. The brush isn't bad. I definitely wouldn't use it for all over lid shade in the future, but since we only have a few brushes, I thought I would make do with it. I'm going to use the angled blending brush. It says it's really good for crease, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to be using this darker shade right here. I definitely like this brush a lot better than the fluffy one. It's stiffer, so it just feels nicer. I'm going to use the small flat one to do shimmer shade. I'm going to do this color. This one isn't bad. I like it. Um, I'd use it again. Next we have the pencil tip one. I'm going to take that same brown shade for the lower lash line. This one's not bad. It's pretty pointed at the end. I'm going to use another brush to kind of blend out a little bit more. The last one we have is the F30 highlighter brush. I'm going to be using the AOA pressed highlighter in Tiara. There we go. Not a huge fan of the brush be honest it doesn't it's just rounded at the top so you kind of can't get into smaller areas like if you were trying to put some under your brow kind of have to get it on the edge of the brush I don't think I'd use it for highlight. I might use it for something else. That was the last brush. I'm gonna pop on some eyeliner, mascara, and then give my final thoughts. My dog is sitting outside whining, so hopefully you can't hear that. Okay, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that the brushes also come with a bag, so you can take them traveling, which is also pretty cool. All in all, it's a great brush set, especially considering the price. Um, so if you're like me and you can't really afford the high-end brushes and you're just someone who messes around with makeup every day, then it's definitely a great brush set for you to try out. My cat is just photobombing right now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on drugstore makeup, DIY makeup, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.